Hey guys, so we're checking out episode 7 of Gushing Over Magical Girls, and this one is called Azura in Trouble. So apparently this is the episode that really kind of kicks off the plot. Um, as I've mentioned before, people have been really excited to kind of tell me what to expect in every episode. So it's not really spoiler territory, but it is kind of setting an expectation. I know that the past six episodes, uh, in particular five and six, were pretty controversial. But people were all about how it's character building and the real plot kind of kicks off now. So going in with that expectation, yeah, I'm kind of pretty excited. I'm hoping I'm not let down in any way because now I've got expectations of what the show's going to give me. But I've got to, you know, kind of just temper that down and just watch the show for what it is because it's amazing. Sure, it's rude and crude and a little bit lewd, but it's uh, a lot of fun at the same time. So last week was... um. The Trey Magia's secret backstory, where we kind of learn a bit about how the girls met. Not necessarily about how they got their powers and stuff, but how the three girls become Trey Magica. And also, um, Haruka ran into Koroso at the park, and they played house. Um, it was a bit confronting because one of the girls was a, a baby, and then aged up and still acted out that baby behavior. I know that's a thing that some people enjoy. I don't under understand it personally, but I was really kind of pushing those boundaries. Not with I didn't ever go over the line, but I did kind of get very, <laughs> very close to um yeah, to, to to that oh my god kind of a thing. But anyway, um that's done. We're moving forward with the show. So without further ado, let's go. Hey guys, so check out my Patreon link down below with all my socials. So come say hi, don't forget like and subscribe. All right, we've got big monsters. Some oh, it's a show. Some some kind of cartoon or yeah. Yutena is very young here, so that's not the magical girls that she knows now. The original magical girls, or just an animated show of the girls. I'll never run away from a fight. Ah, uh, see, this is where she fell in love. The courage that captivated me. You can do it! Right, that's when her obsession started. With her fandom. Oh dear, she's feeling dirty. She's had a rough couple of episodes. <laughs> so when, um, when this show finishes, if I was going to watch something in the, the, the same vein, what do you suggest I watch next? Um, I'm open to suggestion. <laughs> the Trey Magica do battle against evil. Magenta. The leader, the mummy of the group. Soul Farm. Because she's a bit spicy. And as you are... Cool and refined. And vulnerable and violated. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to get my shit together, but I'm being tickle tortured. She's not fighting it anymore. She's. <laughs> oh, she's accepted it. Oh yeah, there's a child here. They got a sense of their attacks. Ooh. Self is not holding back. With her fisty cuffs. Bye, Kiwi. You used to fight way harder. Why do I fight it? Why? I just, I like it. Try harder. Oh, she's got some things to work through. She's going on a trip with her family. Nice. 
She's got a trip. What does Yutena Chan have in her bag? And where is Alice going? Please let me go, I'm stuck. I keep getting caught and tickled. She's losing her mojo. The day they met. Okay, this is how she got her powers. Getting attacked by a big thing. So she's... She's showing bravery. But she's not a magical girl at this point. Just a brave kid. No. Oh. Okay. Magenta to the rescue. And all that jazz. So Magenta was working solo at this point. When I join the team, 100%. So she was the first one. Ah, she revealed her identity. So she knew her. Okay, they were friends beforehand. I've been corrupted. <laughs> She's just gone through her sexual awakening. Time for a holiday. Rest and recharge. Why, why not? Just, why not? Why not? Why not? Okay. Yep. She's really giving them a, a good clean. Like a soaking. There's soap under, under there. Oh, she has an exhibition. Kiwi would not want to go to that at all. You, yeah, you've broken her. <laughs> wow, look at all her collectibles. Oh, she's there by herself. They just pushed in in front of her. I hate that. Oh, poor darling. Yeah, don't cut in front, you mole. Yeah, sure you are. I can't help it. If somebody pushes in front of me, I, I let them know. I can't help it. Magical Girl Exhibition. She's going to go in with her and look at merch of herself. Um, bye, Ma look how lonely she looks. Maybe what, looking at all this stuff and feeling the atmosphere might reawaken her spirit. Renew her energy by seeing the love she's getting, the fandom. Obviously just replicas, right? I mean, how would they get the real thing? It's magic. Then again, Yutin has been ripping a lot of it off. There could be clothing all over the place that people have put together. Oh, she's not feeling the inspiration. Okay. I was right though in her motivation. <laughs> look how look how happy she is. Embrace your fandom, man. Whatever you like, go at it hard. Just enjoy yourself. Being a nerd is awesome. Oh, the old show. 
the old Magical Girl episodes. They had an anime with children back in the day. I'll never run away from a fight. Is she going to start feeling it? Start vibing? With who she is? She's still not feeling it. Oh no. Flawless victory. Hooray. Wow, she's really despondent. Soldier's fiction. No, in real life you get spanked. A lot. I'll triumph over this weakness of mine. There's a spark. Yeah, you got this. She's got to find her fire again. Her passion. Her confidence. Uh-oh. <laughs> Carissa Chan's asleep. Holy shit. Oh, magical barrier? No one will see. Newton really kind of embraces this personality of hers. Azura means business, right? She needs to win a fight and not get caught. Giant flower monsters. Dead flower. It's like an RPG game. Final Fantasy. Oh, oh no. Be aware of your surroundings. Oh, the scissors. Oh dear. More clothing for the exhibition. Oh shit, she's fighting back. I'm sick of losing to you. What, is she actively trying to kill her? Holy shit, they look sharp. And they're icy. Oh, they're icicles. Oh. Oh, she trapped. You haven't been paying attention to what's around you. Bugger. Shit. Oh, the heck. What the? Okay, she's... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> she's trying to escape. Oh dear, she's got a panda gag. Oh, the thing rocks. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> a thing's breaking. What does that mean? What is that gonna is wait? She lost the barriers gone. She lost. She lost some magic. Oh my god. I actually feel bad for her. Oh, she's succumbing to the domination. I can't anymore. I can't fight it. I That's not what she was expecting. I want you to fight, not succumb. Oh, 
Were you trying to let yourself go evil? Were you just about to join the villains? Wow, okay. Shit. Have some dignity. Bloody hell, Yutena. Oh my god. Oh, she just wrecked her. Dang! No, I don't, I don't, I don't care. Keep doing your thing. Oh, these are the other villains. So when the heart crystal breaks, what does that mean? Loco? Right. The real bad girls are turned up. Alright, well that was kind of like told to me as well in the comments. Like I said, I'm, I, I keep getting people telling me everything that's going to happen. That s episode 7 was the start of the of the show proper, the plot, and the real bad guys turn up. So I'm like, I don't need to know. Like it set the expectation, oh, there's more other magical girls, like evil magical girls out there. It just didn't occur to me. I thought Yetina and Nero Alice and Kiwi were the main focus. But so yeah, there's going to be some new characters introduced. And I think they're going to... Well, that just makes me assume that the magical girls and Yetina and her team are going to team up to take on the real threat, maybe. Okay, so if the future episodes are going to focus on Azura a bit more, she's really broken. Like, she was down this whole time, like, losing her mojo to be a magical girl, just finding that vigor and that confidence and that passion to step up and fight the good fight once again because Yutana had just got the upper hand too many times with her. And once again, she got beat. She thought she was winning the fight and Yutana once again had her in shackles and uh she was losing once again but this thing has been in her the whole long like just embracing this um that this sexual awakening of herself like submitting to yet and uh and uh almost becoming like going over to the dark side but I, mean, I don't know what that crystal breaking signifies yet i mean obviously it's pretty significant as soon as azura's crystal broke the barrier went so i'm assuming she still had her magical abilities but i'm not sure i'm sure the show will tell me right right soon enough so don't feel the need to fill me in the show will explain it uh, I'm, I'm i'm sure but it was really kind of uh an interesting episode like i do feel like the plot has kind of started now so it was very interesting narratively we had the the nude stuff of course but i felt real compassion for azua like seeing how broken she was and then where Yutana, you know, was holding her by the chin and saying, have some dignity, and just basically discarded her and went. Man, it was um, a real crushing blow for her. So I don't know how she's going to recover and come back from that. I mean, damn, she's in a real deep, dark pit of depression right now. Anyway, guys, I'm not. I'm quite happy. So please leave a comment down below. Don't forget, like, and subscribe. Catch you next time. Thanks for watching.